Hi YouTubers, this is Homestead Nurse and today we're going to be talking about the basics of blood pressure. I'm covering this because so many patients in this rural area that I see are on blood pressure medications and they don't even own their own blood pressure cuff. So there is a real concern for just some basic education. So what is blood pressure? We see a top number and we see a bottom number. That top number is called the systolic blood pressure when that heart is beating, it's exerting that force. When it's at rest and not beating, that's the diastolic number, and that's the bottom number. Now, normal blood pressure that we strive for, and we always don't get there, is 120 over 80. Now, blood pressure can be influenced by lifestyle, diet, you know, high sodium, high fat, smoking, overeating, alcohol consumption, not exercising enough, being a little bit overweight. All of those things can raise those numbers. And the numbers that we start seeing, 140, 159, over 90, 99, that's what's called stage one hypertension. Then as we go higher, which I don't like to see, but I do see, we can go up to 160 or higher, over 100. That's actually called stage two hypertension. And then believe it or not, I have gone into patient's house and taken their blood pressure and they were 180 over 110. That's a hypertensive crisis. The, the scary thing about these high numbers is you're not necessarily going to have any symptoms. So that's why it's really, really important to have a blood pressure cuff. If you don't have one right now, you need to go to the big box store, get online and find one. They're very inexpensive. I like to use the, this one um, simply because it's automatic and they all kind of differ a little bit, but the automatic ones come with a full size cuff and it's very easy to use. You just slide your arm in there and it tells you how to do it. You line it up right here with that, that anti-cubital and then you push the button and then it reads 120 over 80 hopefully. The thing with testing your blood pressure is consistency. Your blood pressure should be taking, ev taken every morning. Um, it should be at the same time and it should be before you eat breakfast or get up and start walking around. The reason being is blood pressure can be greatly influenced by the time of day that you take it, the type of stress you're under, did you have a big meal, did you just get done hauling in wood. So, if you want to keep an accurate log and really see what your numbers are, you need to take it every morning. So, this is just a quick tutorial. Those are the numbers. That's what blood pressure is. And watch for video two. I'm going to explain some real simple dietary changes that you can do to lower those numbers if they are looking like this.